You know how I'm focusing on stash busting this year and not buying yarn for personal use just because it's pretty? I bought yarn just because it was pretty. Yeah. Okay, so hear me out. I feel as if I have been pretty good about not buying yarn since July of 2023. Yarn for personal use. Commissions don't count. <laughs> okay, so I got yarn for the Hogwarts Express, <laughs> can't talk, Hogwarts Express cowl, the bat socks, and the Christmas socks. Um, everything else between July and Christmas was commissions. So I feel I, I've been pretty good. Until the March mid-month limited edition colorway from Expression Fiber Arts. Um, we're not surprised <laughs> that it's EFA because they are my favorite. And you will see a lot of patterns and yarns from them because they're my favorite. Anyway, what sucked me in with this particular colorway was the inspiration picture. Okay, um, now this is a three skein kit. It's on their Twisted Tweed Sport yarn base. And since it was limited edition, it's no longer available. But <laughs> it was gorgeous. So that was inspiration picture, okay? And then here's the yarns. I mean, how could you not? <laughs> One, it's tweed, and a tweed is my favorite. If I could do anything, everything, anything and everything in tweed, I would. Um, yeah. So this, the kit was called Lost in a Sea of Dreams. And so you've got um, shades of blue. There's some purple in there in this one. It's somewhat of a gradient. And then it goes into this one that has subtle hints of blue and there's some rust and pink and a little bit of purple. Okay. And then the final color is more pink and purple with little bits of blue in there. Okay. Now my rule going forward, well, yeah, that this was always my rule since July. Um, when I buy the yarn, it has to be for a purpose. So I have to have a pattern in mind already, or I have to already have the pattern. It's just, there needs to be a pattern involved for me to buy the yarn. So yeah, I did that. Don't worry. I, I did. Um, I, search through the patterns on Expression Fiber Arts for all of the ones that used this yarn base, the Twisted Tweed Sport. And I knew I wanted it to be knit because I prefer knit over crochet. And I narrowed it down. And I picked the Sweet Gum Cardigan. Okay, now this is a fun gradient cardi. It is um, top down, holding two strands together for a marled effect. Now I did need to get two kits in order to reach the required yardage, but it wasn't quite enough. I needed one more. So I got a single skein in a um, not similar color, um, coordinating color. Um, this is the color Take Chances. And so it's a more dark blue than the one that came in the kit. So if you put it up next to each other, bleh, is that not going to be the most beautiful tweed marled cardigan you have ever seen? <laughs> it's gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait to cast this on. I have other things to do first. I have three, three commissions to do 
well, four, once we finally figure out what pattern we need, we're doing for the fourth one. And wants for my kids, which I am working on those. Those are currently in progress. But anyway, the Twisted Tweed Sport. I should tell you what it is. It is 42% merino wool, 43% superwash merino wool, and 15% Dun Eagle. And I am so excited. I, I cannot wait. Now the kit came with wooden buttons. Um, let's see if I can find all of them. All right, so there's one that looks like a ship's wheel, if you can see that. Um, one that is a sailboat. Okay, there's a lighthouse. Um, what is another one? Oh, here's an anchor. I kind of can't see that one. There's a couple of them with fish. I can't find the fish one. Oh, here's a fish. There's a fish. Um, here's another fish. There's a life preserver. Um, there's one that says C with a little heart on it. Um, and then there's one that says fish. <laughs> so these little buttons are adorable and I may put them on my cardigan. I may pick different ones. I don't know. The kit also came with one other thing. I have a new project bag. It's a canvas bag with an octopus and some coral and a starfish. And it's so cute. This, I'm gonna use this when I make the cardigan. And since I got two kits, I have two packs. Um, the other kit's right here. It's waiting for me. I have the pattern. It's already, it's waiting for me. Okay. The next yarn that made me break my yarn buying ban um, is also Expression Fiber Arts. This one is on the Crema Sock Base, which is, sorry, this one comes from their Nutcrackers nutcracker bit that was Christmas a couple years ago. No longer available. You can request, I guess. Um, Crema Sock is 70% superwash merino wool and 30% mulberry silk. It is so bouncy. It makes really comfortable socks. Um, so these, here's the inspiration picture. Okay. This is from the March birthstone collection, they are reimagining birthstone colors. There's going to, for every month, there's going to be a solid color and a coordinating variegated color. Um, and March was gorgeous and I couldn't stop myself. So here's March. <laughs> it's already caked up because I'm already using it. I am making the summer camp socks. This is a free pattern on Ravelry by Jill Zielinski. Oh, um, the cardigan pattern is currently $7. Okay. Um, so summer camp socks. I've already got one done. <laughs> it's really cute. I love the color pooling on the back here on that side. Um, it's so pretty <laughs> and I'm almost there almost to the um, heel turn. I've got a few more, but it's coming along. It's, I can't talk. It's coming along great. Um, I'm also, you know, doing like four other things at the same time, so it's fine. But yeah, so summer camp socks, free on Ravelry. It is a one size pattern. It's 64 stitches. Yeah, because I had to, 
right? So I already had this pattern in my library when these colors were released. Um, these colors are still available because it's their birthstone collection, so they're going to be there for a while. Um, this one was called something aquamarine. Alluring aquamarine? I don't remember. Um, and I don't remember what this is called, so I'll pop it up here for the actual names of the yarns. So the variegated and the solid. Okay. The last purchase. I know April isn't over yet, but this is my last purchase <laughs> for personal use. This is also Expression Fiber Arts. I mean, you know, we're not surprised. Except this time, it is... Um, on the Sincere Sock base, which is 75% Superwash Merino Wool and 25% Nylon. This is, I want to say it's a little softer than the Crema Sock, um, but it's just as comfy. Okay, um, this is the April color of the month. It is still available for the month of April. Um, this is the inspiration picture. Okay. And what made me get this one was the knit swatch that was with it. Um, so here's the yarn. This is called Release on the Sincere Sock Base. It's it's got some blue in there. Um, look at that. This is These are going to make the most beautiful socks. And I didn't just want this to be plain vanilla. Vanilla socks. But luckily I had another sock pattern waiting for the perfect yarn. And that is Hermione's Everyday Socks. Also a free pattern on Ravelry by Erica Luter. Am I saying that right? Luter. Um, this is a one size pattern, 64 stitches, and that is going to be my next pair of socks after I finish summer camp because I am on a sock kick right now. And I, I've always got socks going, <laughs> um, which is good because I've got a sock class coming up this summer, starting in May that I'll be teaching. So socks. Um, yeah, I broke my yarn vine band, but for good reason. Yes, they were pretty, but <laughs> I had yarns, yarns, patterns waiting for the right yarns and the right yarns came along. Um, yeah, I did make one other purchase for personal use, but that was because I needed one more skein to finish a stash busting project and it's already finished and there's no more yarn. Um, more on that later when I do a stash busting update. So anyway, here's, here's the cardigan yarn. Here's my, my socks, the summer camp socks and Hermione socks. Um, this should be good for now. We're going to hold off until sometime. Maybe Mother's Day. Maybe I should get more yarn for Mother's Day. Yeah, I'll do that. More yarn for Mother's Day. Maybe? Or do I have self-control? I don't know. We'll see. Bye!